specifics of that deficit reduction proposal, what struck me was American people watching the debate saw all of you raise your hands, and I wondered if they wouldn't have seen you all as uncompromising, and whether you well, think that's, is that a good quality oh, and a precedent? absolutely. Why, why should I, you should come up to me and you say, oh, there is a First Amendment to our Constitution. Do you want me to be a compromiser and say, well, I want prior restraint on occasion. <laughs> I want you to come in here because you might say something bad about me. I don't think that's the same thing as reducing oh, the exactly. different ways to reduce No, the it's absolutely the same. You're talking about compromising. Uh -huh. And I think believing in something, I think counterfeiting money is compromising. Paper money is bad and gold money is good. So we compromise and say, well, we'll wean ourselves off. That, that is a compromise that is devastating. So we, property rights, okay, we'll have property rights unless, unless we have eminent domain come in and take your property, give it to a big corporation. That's a compromise. That, that to me is, but what you want, see, I use another term, I work, coalitions hmm. to bring people together. Compromise, you're supposed to bring people together. So I work with the left probably better than any other Republican because <laughs> I talk to the Dennis Kucinich's of the world, and Bernie Sanders, and they understand foreign policy, they understand corporatism, and they understand uh, uh, you, you know cor the corporate welfare. So uh, these are the issues. They understand civil liberties, they understand my position on Patriot Act. So I work with them to fight some of these battles. Mm -hmm. But they don't have to sacrifice any principle. I don't ask them to sacrifice principle, but I don't have to sacrifice principle. That is the way you solve that, the problem. That, that's called my way or the highway. Oh, come on. But, but See, my way or the highway? Way. So you're criticizing Bernie Sanders for saying it's his way or the highway? Um, no, I'm talking about legislation. Well, no. I mean, you, you pass legislation because you bring people together. Mm -hmm. Right. I can't see how you could write it off so casually. <laughs> no, it's, you're saying no compromise. So, wasn't well. We, wasn't well, I played your my main my point. Do you think I should compromise on the First Amendment, on property rights, on your property rights? Should I sell your house because a businessman wants it and he can pay more taxes? That, why no. Why don't you want somebody to stand on principle? Why? So, uh, is, then tell me how you have used that stance to pass significant legislation with bipartisan support. What bill, what, what, what can you put Okay, I have, a, I have a good example, uh, at least through the House of Representatives. No, no, I'm talking about into law. Well, uh, under, the, under the circumstances that I'm uh, trying to repeal a lot of bad ideas of about <laughs> right. 100 years, uh, just, just holding the line is a major achievement in this day. Right. But, Give me the benefit of getting something passed in the House. No, uh, into law. A no, president, I, a I president. haven't be, because there's too much me, misinformation, too many people have learned Keynesian economics, too many people believe in big government, too many people believe in more taxes, too many people don't care about personal liberties, too many people compromise and say, well, we have to give up some of our freedoms to be safe, so that's why we need the Patriot Act, and that's why we need the TSA agents prodding and probing and x-raying us. So that's all a compromise that we don't leave. But let me give me my example, even though you won't accept it. Last year, you know, we had the bill uh, to audit the Federal Reserve. Mm. And Barney Frank worked with me and helped me to get it passed in the House of Representatives. But uh, it was Republicans and Democrats that came together. Now, what is so terrible about that? See, I don't understand how that could be criticized and, and say that, oh no, that's uncompromising. But no, you bring people together with like-mindedness and this whole idea that there's this rigid right and a rigid left and they can't talk to each other and they yell and scream at each other, well, why, why aren't there issues that we can come together on the war and civil liberties and the monetary policy? I had a coalition put together outside of the Congress, including Ralph Nader and the Green Party and everybody else, <coughs> excuse me, agreeing with me that we ought to have a balanced budget. Mm. I think it's fantastic. You know, right. and, and also attacking the Federal Reserve, civil liberties, and foreign policy. We had a group, Libertarians, Conservatives, Ralph Nader, and Green Party, and they agreed on a statement I wrote up. Here, here's my concern, uh, and I think a lot of Americans' concern, are that the lack of the willingness to compromise. Uh, this country was founded on some really horrible compromises, whether it was about right. slavery. Good, uh, good point. <laughs> and, and 
uh, it wouldn't have existed had uh, they not made some pretty tough compromises. See, and, I, I and would, you're not willing. To I do would that. have never compromised on the slavery issue. Uh, that that I think you make my point mm. because we we did that. We did the compromise, and we became uh, you know relative value on rights. We say, well, we'll sacrifice this whole principle. And what did it do? It led to a civil war. Mm. So they should have stood firm. And then there would have been no United States. So and, we're okay with that. And we would have had, uh, you, you know, uh, a loose-knit group of states that may have come together later on. But why give up so and, and plant the seeds of disaster? So, I mean, just think, of, it's just think of the harm done because of that, that there is relative well, value. I'm not arguing that it's good. Oh, I know, but, but you're, democracy, arguing the case for, you're arguing the case for compromise. No, for democracy. Yeah, democracy is very dangerous because uh, the, that's mob rule. If you get 51%, then your rights become relative. 51% come and vote and say, well, we can do anything we want. How do you protect them? So you them? think democracy is dangerous? Well, yes, it's dangerous because 51% rules. That's how the minority gets cheated. Mm -hmm. the, the, you always have to, in a, in a free society, you have to protect the minority. But why should the 51% 51, the 51 said slavery? I mean, that's horrible. Mm -hmm. So no, to protect the minority, you cannot, you cannot say that the majority can dictate rights. That is uh, very, very dangerous. And the founders are very, very clear on this. They said, we don't even want a democracy. We want a republic. And they, they, I mean, it is extensively written how dangerous they considered a democracy that 51% uh, and de Tocqueville, you know, pointed this out as well, that it would be the dictatorship of the, uh, uh, of the uh, majority. The majority, so, majority when they're wrong, are very dangerous. So you get elected president. How are you going to get anything done? Building coalitions, arguing without on, compromise, arguing on arguing on principle and showing that uh, uh, an uncompromising position of bringing troops home and a sensible foreign policy is the best thing for this country. So, how has that worked for you in all of your time in Congress? Well, you, well that, that doesn't discredit the views if I'm right and correct, and they're good. No, views. no, I just effectiveness. I don't whether well, you're right like or wrong. Like I say, you know, when you're trying to reverse a hundred years of. Uh, history in 40 years of a bubble being blown up that's bursting now and that's devastating to our whole country, well, no, we haven't achieved it. But right now, people are paying attention. That's the important point. They really are. Okay. Do you have any hope for the uh, super committee, so-called, to uh, move this forward at all? Uh, the super the, committee? Yeah, on the I'm not optimistic about that. 